Okay, we got the Bruise Tyrant today. This is a big flashy knife. Um, big 4.2 inch blade. I think that's what they say. On the website it says 4.5 on, I believe, Knife Center, but it's not that big. It's it's 4. Point, yeah, about 4.1, 4.2, something like that. On overall length, you can see it's just over nine and a half. Just over nine and a half. So it's a big blade. Big flashy knife, D2 steel. Aluminum handles, uh, you have a titanium pocket clip, uh, no backspacer, um, liner lock knife. It does have skeletonized stainless steel liners in there, uh, highly skeletonized. Um, this is a big knife, but the, the weight is very, very, you know, it's very, very low. It's actually, it's only 4.5 ounces. So to have a, a knife of this size to be under five ounces, that's pretty incredible. Um, I think the aluminum and the milling is really what helps you. And the blade itself is actually pretty thin for its size. You can see it's uh, pretty thin. It's very sharp. It's a very odd shape that I think would be a pain in the ass to sharpen. But um, luckily it comes very, very sharp. And I don't think this is the knife that I'm going to be EDCing and cutting a whole lot of things with. I think this would be more of like a, it's a cool knife to have in your in your collection. Just like a, like a showpiece to kind of show off. Um, it's not too expensive. I think I paid $103. I bought this from Bear Blades. He's a great guy. He uh, he sells a lot of knives at great prices. He's real uh, knowledgeable to talk to as well. Um, but I think they run a lot more than that usually. They're usually like $150, $170, something like that. They are discontinued, I believe. I don't believe they're making these anymore. Um, but Bear Blades was just selling. He had a, he had a whole bunch of different uh, colors of these. They've got different color scales. Uh, they've got the Satin Blade. This one obviously has the DLC. But yeah, this is aluminum, liner lock. Um, I will say the aluminum is slick as can be. It is slippery. But as I said, this isn't really an EDC knife. I don't really plan on using this too much. It'd be something just to keep in my collection. Um, it does have ball bearings on the inside. Uh, so it has great opening action. Flips open very, very quickly. It's got a, a strong detent. So as soon as you break that detent, it's, it's coming open. Um, as you can see here, it says 841 of 1,000. So apparently there's a thousand of these made, and this is number eight forty one. It does come in a cool like plastic uh, plastic box that has a little certificate of authenticity. Um, it's kind of just it's kind of kind of nice to have. It does have like this little fuller ground into the blade, which is just for looks. That does not work for a spotty flick or a thumb flick at all. It's not deep enough to actually get the get a hold of by any means. I mean maybe if you want to grab it like that, like pinch it and get a hold of it and open it kind of cool i guess but yeah you're not flicking that out by any means so yeah overall cool knife uh doesn't it's a, it's a big knife doesn't weigh much uh nice materials d2 aluminum uh skeletonized liners uh just a little bit slick if it wasn't so slick i say it'd be uh it wouldn't be that bad to carry especially with how light it is but uh yeah it's a cool knife um bruised tyrant um if you like it, maybe check out Bear Blades. I know um, they also have these on eBay too, but you're definitely not going to get as good of a price unless you go through Bear. Um, so thanks for watching. Have a good one.